Hi everybody, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com, here to bring you video number two in my series on ancestor veneration, which is designed to assist you with starting your connection to your ancestors, beginning your relationship with your ancestors from scratch. In this video series, I'm coming from a universalist perspective, meaning that you should be able to plug these tools and these techniques into any spiritual practice that or magical practice that you may already have, and as well as any spiritual or religious beliefs or practices that you may already have. That being said, if you do have a spiritual practice or tradition of your own, then you're also going to want to take into consideration any rules or any techniques, any taboos, etc. So in video number one, we spoke about how to to set up your altar, how to begin physically in your practice and the logistics of that. In this video number two, we're going to be talking about prevention and protection as well as moving into the next steps for your relationship and building that relationship. So the next step for building your relationship with your ancestors is going to be the praying and the speaking, the communication that you're going to do with them. So the point of your relationship with your ancestors in the beginning is to venerate them, to honor them, to give them gratitude, to give them respect. So you're going to want to begin with some prayers that tells them these things, that tells them what your intentions are, that thanks them for all they have done for you so far, all they have done for those before you, all that they've done so far and all they will do um, in the future. You're going to want to thank them for the roads that they've cleared before you, for everything that they've passed on to you, for all that they've done known and unknown. Thank them for the wisdom and experiences and unique gifts that they have passed on to you. Thank them for all that they do for you on a regular basis that you aren't even aware of. Generally express gratitude for the spiritual connection that you have with them, felt or unfelt, seen or unseen, known or unknown. If you are just beginning your practice, it goes without saying that you may not already be aware of this connection that you have with them, but you need to acknowledge that the connection is there regardless if you feel it yet or not. And through the practice and the intention and the will and the actions that you put into this practice, you will eventually feel that connection and deepen that relationship, deepen that connection after you offer them prayers of gratitude, of honor, of respect, of reverence, you can go ahead and speak to them. You do not at this point want to ask them for anything. It is very important that you establish the relationship before you ask anything of them. So you can generally speak to them about your life the way that you would speak to a friend, the way that you would speak to a neighbor, the way that you would speak to a coworker, the way that you would speak to an intimate friend or an, a family member as well. You can tell them about your life. You can tell them what things you're working on. You can tell them what goals goals you have. You can tell them um, what you're seeking, what your aspirations are, what challenges that you're faking that you're facing, but all the while you do not ask them for any specific help, guidance, insight, or actions regarding these. You simply speak to them. This is a process of getting to know them. This is a process of them getting to know you. This is a process of you getting used to talking to them about your life. This is a process of you establishing a routine, establishing a connection with them. So one of the reasons that you don't ask them for anything in the beginning is because you need to protect yourself. Why do you need to protect yourself? You need to protect yourself because you need to know that the spirits that you are making a connection with are in fact your ancestors. Other spirits can show up. Other spirits can show up and you need evidence that the spirits you're making connection with are in fact your ancestors. 
in most cases, you're going to feel a palpable shift in your relationship. You're going to feel a palpable shift in the energy of the work that you're putting into that relationship at your ancestor altar. And then you're going to know something has changed and that the connection is stronger and that it's time to move the relationship to the next level. But until you intuitively feel or sense that shift, you do not ask them for anything things to look out for to protect yourself and to prevent yourself from getting into a spiritually dangerous situation are warning signs. What does a warning sign look like of an imposter spirit? So it's going to feel to you like something isn't right. It's going to feel to you like something is off. If a spirit presents itself and it asks you, to do something that seems strange, that seems out of left field, if a spirit presents itself and it starts giving you a lot of predictions, if it starts telling you how things are um, without any evidence for things being that way, you need to wait and see if these predictions come to fruition. You need to have evidence that the spirit that is presenting itself to you actually has an ancestral connection. So that kind of evidence is going to come to you through your own intuition and through your own spiritual connection. So it's important that you start to recognize what your particular spiritual gifts are or how your individual intuition works for you. These messages will come to different individuals differently. They could come to you in a dream. They could come to you through clairaudience. They could come to you through clairsentience. They could come to you in a strong feeling. They could come to you in a vision. It just depends on how things usually come to you or how you usually sense things. So part of your practice is also to begin to understand and pay close attention to how you do sense things and how you receive messages. Now, if you should feel that you have come into contact with a spirit that you do not wish to continue contact with, then you will need to cleanse yourself and you will need to protect yourself. One of the easiest and most potent ways to cleanse yourself if you've come into a spirit you no longer wish to have contact with is to get a thick dish, a thick ceramic dish, fill it with Florida water and light it on fire, light a white candle, and while these things are burning, pray for illumination, pray for clarity, pray pray for cleansing, and pray for protection. This will energetically clear your space as as well as offering you the protection that you're seeking, especially if you pray during so and ask for what, what it is that you need. If you feel that you need to take this protection a further step, then you can prepare yourself a bath of salt water. Salt water removes any spiritual entities that are unwanted. These, This cleansing, this protection should be enough for any low-level spirits that may present themselves to you when you are opening yourself up to the spirit world, any spirits that you do not wish to have contact with. You will know when your ancestors are building your relationship. The signs that they will show to you when they present themselves are going to be very strong. But the biggest, most important way that you can protect yourself and prevent yourself from any situation that could become spiritually dangerous for you is to not ask them for anything until you know that relationship has been taken to the next level and you know that they've made themselves clear to you and to not take any actions based upon um information that you receive until you have evidence that this information is valid, that this spirit is an ancestor and that it has a ancestral connection to you and that it has good connections. This means patience and dedication. You have to wait until you receive the signs. You have to wait until you feel that the relationship is changing. You have to pay close attention to your intuition and your spiritual connection and you will know when it's time to take it to the next level. Stay tuned for episode number three and stay blessed.